Good afternoon guys. I very hope in previous videos you have successfully installed your UNL machines. It uh, could be a uh, VMware workstation or ESXi and you and you seeing this screen now on your desktops. Yeah, it's and uh, and the next step what I would like to show you it's a how to tune your personal PC or your laptops to be able to use UNL Lubbing. Yeah, it's uh, actually to clicking on the notes, to clicking on, on other uh, routers. Yeah, it's um, calling out VNC, Telnet, and the Wireshark live capture. So uh, the best the best browsers for, for using UNL are Google Chrome or Firefox. And the next step, how to prepare your machine it doesn't matter actually it's uh, if your machine is installed on the same pc as vmware workstation vm machine yeah, so you have to install this management pack so what does it mean we will install direct files which will automatically call out telnet session vnc or workshop when you are clicking and doing some actions on the uh, web browser unl screen so the next step we have to get this pack where to get it okay i'm going uh, yeah actually i installed i installed this windows set windows 7 64 uh, bit machine is brand new it's clean yeah it's, uh, that's why it's, uh, i would like to show you what to do and how to install all things so i'm going to double uh, triple W and uh, unitlab.com. Okay. Uh, clicking on the downloads and a little bit scroll down, and you can see the Windows integration pack. This pack is prepared for 32 and 64 bit use. You need not to specially download anything for 32 or 64 bits, just run this pack. It doesn't matter on which machine, 32 or 64, and the pack will automatically detect your system and will, will install proper files. So just to click on it and start download. Okay, I actually downloaded and my pack is here. And let's start to install it. Run as admin. Okay. Yeah, if previous, uh, if some used the UNL before and already installed the Wireshark and Ultra VNC, you need not to check these two guys. Yeah, it's it's quite enough. But this is a question of where these guys are installed. They should be in default default uh, locations. When the Wireshark should be on a C. Let me show you. Uh, so the Wireshark should be in the program files under here, the Ultra VNC as well. As this machine is totally brand new, there's so nothing installed here, right? So I'm going to check these two guys and the next, okay? It's offering installed Ultra VNC, I'm doing this. Okay, next. Accept agreement, next, next. Do not change this default pass. It is very, very important. If you will change this pass, your Ultra VNC on click sessions will simply will, will not work because direct files are programmed with this pass and leave as it is. So I'm unchecking Ultra VNC server and the repeater. I'm going next. Uh, no changes here. Uh, you can you can check of course yeah it's a, but I'm leaving as it no check install no latest version <coughs> so the white shark agree no changes here no changes here N and no changes here. It is important point, do not change the destination folder. Don't. Install win, win pickup should be checked on. This is up to you. Yeah, it's if you're using USB pickup, yeah, it's a, you can check, yeah, it's, but I'm leaving, leaving as it. So we're installing the Barshock now. Win pickup, agree. Automatically, yes. Leave check it. Finish. Next and finish. 
next finish actually we are done so we install it now management pack which allow you to on click uh, click and call our telnet sessions vnc or Wireshark live captcha let's test it yeah by default when we install it, this by default telnet windows telnet application is putty a little bit later i will i will show you how to change it out CR, secure crt so but by default it is a putty let let's check I'm going to open a lab. Pretty big lab, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, but we will run it's uh, just a couple of nodes. Uh, let me start the uh, internet router, start uh, switch, start, and uh, some Linux machine, which is Linux host, I'm saying start. Okay, the node started and now we can start to test on click things. I'm going to click on internet router and the first time when you are clicking it will ask you do you do you wish to use your Windows default telnet session and therefore I'm saying to marking this one. This is a default telnet session which is putty and I'm saying yes I would like to use default telnet and I'm saying remember my choice for telnet links it will be changed yeah it's an this this window will not appear anymore yeah it's i want it yeah it's i'm saying remember and that's it and you can see that the telnet session started to work let me check uh, if switch is the same yeah and you can see it doesn't it doesn't ask me anymore yeah it's if i need to choose any application yeah okay good so the next let's try the bnc as well he's asking what we will use for vnc to open this session to open this node node session this is default because we just did this install and rec file offering to use ultra vnc wrapper which is based in c program files unit lab and i'm saying remember my choice okay <coughs> and you can see that a vnc session to the uh, linux host is open it it the same a VNC session is used for Windows host as well inside of the UNL machine. It looks good and everything is fine. Okay. The last thing what we have to test it is a Wireshark Wireshark live capture live capture of the interfaces. But before I'm going to this, I have to show one very important thing. So I'm going to, we have to be sure that our Wireshark, Wireshark wrapper has a proper root password. It is absolutely necessary when, when the live capture will start to work, he will ask access to the UNL machine and therefore we need to know the root and the root password. Root password can be changed here. Look, look at this. I'm going to local disk C, program files, unit lab folder okay and I'm saying to edit wrapper and saying edit wrapper and as you see set the username root root is by default and by default is UNL if you did not change your password during the installation when you did it in previous videos and did not change I recommend it to not to do this then everything is fine and need not to change anything but if you change it your password and password probably is something like uh, any any can be yeah, it's any password can be here yeah it's you have to put your correct and proper password here in my case it is a UNL and I'm leaving it as it just sometimes if you cannot save this file it's uh, just just directly into into this folder, make a copy, save as, and then over copy. Yeah, it's just an over copy here. This file is yes, over. Just replace this file with a new password. If you cannot save this direct directly here, just like I'm doing this. Yeah, it's Ultra VNC, but I have another Ultra VNC Ultra VNC uh, wrapper which is just to change the password inside, and I'm going to copy copy with my correct password inside and I'm going back see find a find a unit lab and I'm saying copy it here paste here and replace that's it
So we are ready to start and uh, try to use the uh, Wireshark Capture. Let's do it. So as you see, the couple of nodes running, yes, and I would like to test the E00 interface capture. What happens on this? I'm going to right click capture and saying the interface E00. Okay, it asking me which application will be used for this. By default, Windows offer me the Wireshark wrapper, which is correct. And I'm saying remember my choice and everything is good. Okay. And you can see it's automatically called out me the Wireshark and some some processes already started started to be there okay something 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 happens already okay good let's try to do some test i configure it let me open okay so enable i know that i configured my switch with ip address and i'm going to ping 20.1.1.10 uh, okay let's try and a look at this. The Wireshark started to capture the packets and I just did a ping from 111 to 1110. Okay, that's pretty good and nice. Just remember this. Yeah, yeah it's one more thing. It's the first time when you will click for a capture. This CMD, CMD windows will appear and it will ask you confirm your connect connection to the UNL machine. Just, just type Y yes yeah just type y and enter this needs to be needs to be done only the single first time yes i did it before that's why the cmd windows didn't ask me yet to enter this yes but on the first time when you will start the capture it will ask you yes and no and once you will answer yes it will be done and everything will work fine for you and the capture will be will be nicely ready and so on as you see the live capture works i'm closing the when you're stopping a capture, I'm closing, just simply closing the Wireshark, stop, and this CMD, which was opened behind yes, as a background, disappear as well, disconnected from your UNL. That's nice. So the last thing left, yeah, it's because you saw by default we got the putty working consoles, and the last thing we, uh, I prefer to use the secure CRT, and that's why you have to be installed uh, security CRT in the default location as well. C program files, one back software and the security CRT. Just remember this pass is by default, which secure CRT you offering where to install. And it is correct and it is programmed inside of the rec file. So what I'm doing now, how to change it to secure CRT, my uh, telnet sessions. Local disk C program files, unit lab, right and i'm finding where is the crt rec file here is it and just double click on it and say yes i want to continue and we are done close let's go back now to the unl and let's try i'm clicking now on internet and look at this i have crt now and when i'm clicking on a switch it opening like a tablet Tablet consoles, yeah, it is much much better to use. Yeah, it's for practice as well. Yeah, it's um, actually it's pretty nice. Yeah, it's because CRT it's a uh, very good one thing. Some guys try to get super putty working and then success. Yeah, but we do not offer the super putty inside of the inside of the this pack. Okay, guys, I think it was very informative for you, and thank you for viewing.